so let us start the next topic which is controlling deliveries okay so here you will have some better understanding of about deliveries okay <clears throat> so basically as we have seen that we have different types of sales order okay we have standard sales order we have return order we have a quotation we have different types of sales or similarly we have different types of delivery types okay we have different types of delivery types and these delivery types are basically controlling a delivery document okay for example if I go to customizing here Here you can see under logistics, shipping, deliveries, defined delivery types. If I execute this one, here you can see all the delivery types are defined here. Okay, the one we were using was, so let me explain this one again. So basically what we have seen so far was we created a sales order. Okay, and most commonly we used sales order type OR. OR is a standard order. Okay, so after creating the sales order, what we did was delivery or outbound delivery. Okay, and the delivery type we used was LF. Okay, I will explain this one in a minute. So the, the standard outbound delivery that we were using was LF. Okay, so if I open LF here, under delivery types, LF, this one, LF. Okay, if I open this one. So same, as you have seen, uh, customizing of a sales document, the similarly we have the customizing of delivery type. Okay, the CLF delivery type. Okay. Again, you can see the similar stuff. So a lot of stuff is pretty much similar like number range. Okay, what should be the number range? Okay, number range is, is whenever you create, whenever we're creating a new delivery. Let me open this. Whenever we're creating a new delivery, system automatically picks up a, a number for that. Next number. Okay, so that's your number. That's coming from number range. Okay, so now number range is 17 here. Okay, so probably let me show you this one as well. Uh, where we define the number range. Okay, so 17 is the number range for internal and uh, number range for external is 18. So if I go back one step to explain this one. So we need to find number range. If you can't see the best is do a control F. number range so number range is used in, in all the documents you can see whether accounts whether any department so they all use this number range so we need to find the right area <coughs> so Should be in the shipping somewhere. So define number range for deliveries. That's the one. Could be this one. Let me check. Was it on the same same delivery page? Manish. Okay. Yeah, that's here actually. That's the one. Yeah, right, Manish. So here I can click on this uh, define number range for deliveries. Open that. And here I can display. This is display. This is change. Okay. And this is to check the status. If I open display, you can see 
what is, if I let me go back one step let me go to the chain mode change interval okay here I can see it was using 17 right if I scroll down what is 17 17 is this range if I stack 17 17 is range between 8 0 0 0 a couple of 0 here up to this up to this okay and the and the the latest number in use was this okay somebody last who somebody created a delivery in the system last time and the last number assigned was this okay and the next number will be uh, after 15 it will be 16 17 18 19 like that okay so that's your um, outbound delivery number range okay so if i if i select if i and 16 is 75000 something if i change for LFs from 17 to 16, it will start picking these numbers starting from, sorry, 15, just say 15 for now. It will start picking next number from 75, after 75. It will start using 76, 77 and like that. Okay, so, so this is your number range. Again, number range are two types. So I can, if you want, you can create your own number range. I can select, click on this interval, insert interval. Here I can give it a new number range. For example, I give I need to give it a number. Call it 90, for example. Number range for I will say uh, 00, or just call it 001. It shouldn't be existing before, like this. Okay, and up to 00, uh, 0001999999. Okay, and I can take this one if I want to make it external. If I take this one, that means it's internal. Okay, if I save this, if I click on plus it will add it some way. If I scroll down, I can see this one. Nine, uh, where is that? 90. The one I just created, this one. And the current number is used is 0 because it's not used so far. Okay, once we start using it, it will this, check this one as the first number and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that. Okay, so this is your number range. Okay, so let me go. So we are using 17 over there. Okay, that's how system is making 8,000 numbers here. Whenever we created a new delivery, you can see it's using 8,000 numbers, 800 numbers. Okay, so that's a number range. So, let me go back to the customizing again. Define delivery types. LF. Select LF details. So this is your number range. Okay, and we are saying that external number range should be 18. What that means is if somebody creating a delivery document and they want to enter, you know, if I go to slash and VL01N when we are creating a delivery document. So while creating something with reference to order, when before system creates a delivery number for that one, you can enter your own delivery. But that doesn't make a sense. It shouldn't be uh, external number range. External means we entering our own number here. It doesn't make a sense. It should be uh, internal number range. System should pick up automatically. Okay. So this is setting. This setting is coming from this one. It is this number range internal, and this is external. Um, there is a question here. What is the best practice for number range? Like different number range for sales order D I bring. That's right. Uh, the best practice, Manish, is use the system numbering okay so whenever a company is implementing SAP system whenever they buy a system so all these standard things are already there okay whether this LF and everything okay we don't need to define anything new okay this LF number range settings everything is there okay you just need to start using it so for example if you use if you see this one the delivery types so even if I go to LF if you want to create something of your own then you will create something called Z Z starting with Z so everything will be there. Okay, even this 17, 18 is already there when you buy a blank system. And 17 will be using this number range. Okay, and even if you go to the standard billing document, okay, the standard billing document is F2 actually. Okay, so it, for that one, the number in used by the system is 9000 something. Okay, which is again standard. Okay, so you can start using the system straight away after buying the software in a company. You just need to do a little bit uh, customizing from here and there, define your own stuff, but for things like this, you can start using a standard system, okay? And if for any reason you want to change it, then you can change